Uh, one simple hadith is a hadith that's in Sahih Muslim. It's a beautiful hadith and has a lot of, um, as with all a hadith, a lot of profound wisdom for us. Abdullah ibn Amr ibn al-As narrates that one day we were in a journey and we scattered. Some of us were fixing our tents, some of us were sharpening our arrows, some of us were taking care of the camels. When we heard a crier call, As-Salatu Jami'ah. This is how the Prophet would announce, you know, come, listen, I have an announcement to make. So we all gathered and the Prophet ﷺ stood up and said to us, he gave a mini sermon or khutbah. This was something important he wanted to tell them. He said to us that, There was never a Nabi that was sent before me. It's said that it was obligatory on him that he teaches his ummah the good that they should follow and he warns them against the evil they should be prepared against. In other words, he's setting up what he's about to say. I have to give you this information. I have to tell you that which is going to benefit you. And I have to warn you from that which will harm you. And of course, from this, we understand, we derive that our religion is a complete religion for what we need to know for the akhirah. Our religion tells us everything we need to know about akhlaq, about morality, about aqidah, about rituals, whatever is we need to know it, it is in the Quran and Sunnah. And if it is not something necessary, well then, khalas, you may go and discover it. Engineering, medicine, chemistry, go and you discover no problem. But what you need to know for your soul, what you need to know for the akhirah, it is in the sharia. So the Prophet ﷺ said, it is obligatory in every prophet that he must warn his people of the evil and guide them to the good. And then he said, وَإِنَّ أُمَّتَكُمْ هَذِهِ and as for this ummah of yours, meaning my ummah, فَإِنَّ عَافِيَتَهَا جُعِلَ فِي أَوَّلِهَا Its blessed era has been made the earliest part of the era. The earliest part is going to be the better part. In other words, in the time of the Prophet wasallam, there shall be things that are beneficial that are not going to exist later on. For example, Muslim unity. For example, one ummah being combined together. For example, no civil war. All of this did not happen in the time of the Prophet ﷺ. And then the Prophet ﷺ said, وَسَيُصِيبُ أَخِرَهَا بَلَاءٌ وَأُمُورٌ تُنْكِرُونَهَا And as for the later generations, you're going to get trials and tribulations. You will not understand them, reject them. You're just going to want to reject them. You're not going to recognize this has not happened before. In other words, the Prophet ﷺ is getting his ummah prepared. You know, when we are, send our children out, maybe the weather is bad. Hey, careful, it's bad weather today, cold. You're telling them a bitter fact. Why are you telling them the bitter fact? So that they prepare, so that they drive more safely, whatever it might be. So the Prophet ﷺ is telling us a bitter reality. The later parts of the ummah will not enjoy what the earlier parts did. And this is a reality that we can extrapolate, you know, for not just the time of the process, but beyond this as well. Right now, we live at a time when we don't have a Muslim empire. We don't have a khilafah, for example, right? Or we don't have the, the quantity of scholars we used to have. So many differences we have now that didn't happen in the past. Now, this doesn't mean, by the way, that in every single aspect, the ummah is going to be more negative. We should not think of it that way. No, in every era, there's going to be positives and negatives. But the trials that later generations will face will be of a different type than the earlier ones. This is what we're being told. That, and sometimes these trials will be unprecedented. Okay, and again, one of the trials we have, again, let's be honest here, the, the, the fitna of living as a minority in a majority, you know, land that doesn't have our values. This is a new fitna and it comes with new challenges, right? Again, the default, this is not the case for the bulk of the ummah that, you know, we're trying to protect our morality, our theology, our laws in a land that might be hostile to some of those aspects, right? Again, that's a difficulty we have to face. Where else are we going to go? And the perks we get from living here, we might not get anywhere else. So we're balancing these like the Prophet ﷺ said, Umurun tunkirunaha. Then he told us, whoever wants to make sure that death comes to him in a good state, whoever wants to make sure. I mean, I'm, by the way, I'm compiling, um, condensing the hadith. It's much longer. We don't have time for every phrase because otherwise that would be a much longer khatira. But my point I wanted to leave you with was this. The Prophet ﷺ said, whoever wants to make sure that death comes to him 
and he's going to basically pass, right? فَلْتَأْتِهِ مَنِيَّتُهُ وَهُوَ يُؤْمِنُ بِاللَّهِ He makes sure that his iman is strong in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Make sure that his iman is not shaken. No matter what happens around, your faith has to be strong. And number two, let him treat the people the way he desires to be treated. These two pieces of advice he left us with, regardless of how bad the world is, regardless of what's happening around, regardless of the trials, two things are in your command. Doesn't matter how bad the situation is, nobody can control your heart. Make sure that he believes in Allah firmly. Make sure that your Iman is not affected by the realities going on around you. And nobody can control that except you in your heart. And number two, and let him do unto people his akhlaq, the way he would want people to do unto him. Treat people the way you want to be treated. Be nice unto people. And if you do these two things, then khalas, you will get there. Subhanallah, this hadith is a bit terrifying. But it's also comforting. He's warning us, things are going to happen. You're going to be shaken. You're going to see trials people haven't seen before you. The blessed era is the earlier era. The blessed era, when the Sahaba were alive, when we had the Umayyads and the Abbasids, when we had, that's the blessed era. When we had ulama, by every country, every land had thousands of ulama. When we had overall akhlaq was higher, iman was higher, that's the blessed era. Things are gonna happen. Umurun tunkirunaha. You're gonna not see a reject it. Tunkiru here means rejecting is your heart will reject it, meaning you won't understand. Meaning this is this is unprecedented. This is something that I don't know how to deal with. New challenges will happen that previous generations did not have. And the Prophet said, Look, don't worry. Whatever happens, you stick with these two things and you're gonna be okay. Keep your iman strong. And basically keep your akhlaq good. That's what he told us to do. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to navigate these uncertainties, these difficult times with strong iman. And may Allah azza wa give us the sabr and give us the fortitude and give us the good manners that we're able to live up to those standards and give unto people how we ourselves would like to be treated. And inshallah we will continue our regular schedule now from tomorrow.